What up, it's Noah again. Um, so today I'm going to go over a few things with the Subaru. I haven't really been uh, that informative about it. Um, it is currently my daily driver in my project. Actually, I'm getting a new alternator in on Saturday because I, uh, I overspun mine. I blew it because I've been running too much power through it uh, with all the light accessories I've been doing. So I'm getting a 150 amp uh, alternator in. I come stock with an 85 amp, so it's going to be quite a jump. Um, yeah, but we're going to go check out the Subaru and I'll go over what the build is. So yeah, we're going to talk about uh, what basically has been done to the Subaru since I bought it. Um, there's been quite a bit done. Uh, again, nothing too big. I'm kind of struggling for cash a little bit at the same time. So it's kind of getting built as a process. Um, so right now I'm going to go through basically everything I've done. So the very first thing I did when I bought this car was the car came with four different sets of tires on it, like in it being all wheel drive, I knew that wasn't good. So the first thing I did was buy a set of rims and tires. So the original size was 195, 65, 15. And me, I'm a tire technician. And so I decided to go with 215, 75, 15, uh, BF, Goodrich, KO2s. Um, these are load range C tires, so they're only six plies, but I mean, that's more than I should ever need with this car. And then I went to Summit Racing and bought uh, 15 by six inch rims. Uh, they fit pretty snug inside of the wheel wells. There was a little rubbing at first, but with a little bit of trimming, they did well. Um, they look pretty mean. Uh, I've pulled many people out of ditches and just got everything done. Uh, I absolutely love the tires, can't hear them, they're noise free. Um, along with that, I knew that I was probably going to need a lift because they, I mean, I had, I was tucking my wheel behind this. As you can tell, I need to still roll my fenders. But basically, I have a one and three quarter inch lift block in there right on top of the strut. Um, I still need to get outback bushings, one inch uh, body spacer bushings. That will help get rid of, if you can kind of see, one sec. I have quite a bit of positive camber in the back, which isn't necessarily good, especially for these tires. And it really, it really can make them wear pretty bad. I do, I did have an alignment done, but it's just still, still not necessarily the best. The front's not too bad. Uh, the rears are pretty, pretty awful though. So we're gonna get that fixed. Uh, so after that, I was driving around like that for a while. Not too bad. Well, my exhaust was starting to get a it was starting to get rusted through. So what I did was I welded a two and a quarter inch pipe all the way out the back. I removed the second secondary catalytic converter. So I'm running one sec. I'm running two and a quarter inch all the way out the back, all the way to the rear. I custom welded that myself. Um, well, along help with a buddy. And it sounds really mean. It does drone quite a bit, but it doesn't sound bad at all. Um, in a later video, I'll show you that. And so after I got that, I drove the car for a bit, for a while like that. I didn't really have much money to move on. And then finally one day my buddy convinced me just to spend the money, get a roof rack. We bought, it was a Walmart roof rack, but I mean, it was $120 still, but it looks way nicer. It did actually have a wind guard right here, but we took that off because we mounted our light bar there. We're gonna also custom fabricate one that comes all the way down to the roof line. It'll be nice and smooth. We'll have two 30 inch light bars up there. Right now we just have this fifth tire up here, this fifth spare. It's just, it's just strapped down on top. Nothing special. Uh, hopefully nobody steals it. And then one day we, I really, you know, I was moving and I really like room in my cars a lot. So what we did, my car's kind of a mess, so sorry about that. But we did strip the entire interior of it, headliner, head everything. So this car is completely gutted. It does have, I did install two 12 inch Alpine Type RS subs. <clears throat> They're really loud. I have a 1200 watt amplifier, installed a MEX 5000 BT head unit, Sony head unit. So it is pretty loud as well there too. The subs are quite literally bungee corded down in the back. Um, 
Moving on to the next part, uh, these windows, these front windows, as you can tell, some of the tent didn't stick well. It's because it was done on a really cold day and it was air on my side. Um, I had a couple friends, they rolled my windows down before the tent was completely set, so it peeled up my windows. It didn't do well, but the rears look super nice. This is 5% all the way around. Um, thank you, Pro Tent. I have a friend, him and his dad own Pro Tent, so they do. They do tent work and it's very, very quality tent. This is carbon tent, uh, lifetime warranty as well as you can, yeah, it's peeling there too on the inside. Um, got a 5% banner across the top. Anybody needs, anybody needs tent, I'd certainly suggest to go to them. Um, along with that, I wanted my headlights and taillights to kind of match. So I did smoke the taillights. These are now buffed and smooth. They were kind of, they kind of had a lot of orange peel before. Um, and they looked kind of kind of garbage. They're really bad before I buffed them out. They're still not perfect, but they They look a lot better than they did before That was just about an hour. it took me about an hour in my uh, garage to do that. So not too bad um, Yeah, that's pretty much it for mods besides the exhaust. I mean there is let's see When I bought the car, the car came with NGK spark plug wires and spark plugs. The engine is kind of dirty, like the, it is leaking a little bit of oil. Um, but also you can see my uh, HID install, my sub wires, everything is kind of messy right now. It will, I will have to uh, tuck it up and make it look nice. But for right now, we're just getting everything set in there and making sure everything works. So that's how it is right now. Um, that 30 inch light bar on top, I believe that is a 200 watt light bar. So it is, it's very bright for a 30 inch light bar. And also these are those little pods. What me and uh, my friend Preston are looking at doing, we're actually looking at moving this mount over to the side and putting another light pod here angled out a little bit. These are angled down enough, down enough so they are considered fog lights. They're not considered actually light pods, light bars. So I cannot get in trouble for those. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for mods at the moment. Um, next, we cut the bumper. The bumper's good. I just have to get quick releases for the bumper. So that'll all fit in there, look all good. Um, so yeah, basically, basically what we're doing is we're just, it's a nice steady build. In the spring, there's gonna be real big plans as far as paint and everything, but I'll get into that in a later video. Um, we did when we fit these tires in the lift it pushed the tires forward so we did actually it kind of looks bad right now but we did actually have to trim this a little bit so that it fit nice so it didn't rub because anytime i used to go over a bump you used to be able to hear it scrape pretty bad um they sent me the wrong struts a while ago these are uh these are gr2 struts excel g struts uh out for a 98 outback this is a 99 outback and so they do lift it about they say three quarters to another inch um so roughly i'm looking probably and these are also heavy duty forester springs so i'm looking roughly around like a three inch lift um doesn't look as much but with the tires and everything it sits much much higher 